Well, hello everyone. We are here. I have missed you all. I have missed you all. I uh, have had some time getting my husband situated and out of the hospital. He is doing well. I'm enjoying a nice chilled glass of wine and I thought we would get together and do a little chalking tonight. So glad you're joining us. Feel free to like the video and share the video. Would not hurt my feelings at all. I'm gonna go ahead and share this to a couple pages real quick. Um, oh, thank you, Christine. Yes, surgery went well. He is recovering. He is now resting all of those good things. So we had lots of prayers our way, which is good. Can never have too many of those. So let me figure out if I can get this shared. I go back to work tomorrow. That will be like a vacation after spending a week in and out of the hospital. But that's okay. That's what we do for the ones that we love. Absolutely. Okay, let me share this bad boy. I'm going to share it. So we're actually going to work on three projects tonight. Um, we are going to work on... I don't think that's where I wanted to share it, but that's okay. We're going to work on a towel, a Bon Appetit, and then we're also going to work on a unicorn picture, and we're going to do a coffee mug. I haven't done one of those in quite a while, so I thought tonight would be a good night for that. So, well, hello, gorgeous. How have you been? I always love it when you come on and say that. It makes my day. Because, girl, let me tell you, until I had that shower a while ago, I wasn't feeling too gorgeous. Not at all. So, Sean is great. Um, he is he is recovering. And he's going to be fine. New hearts are good for everyone, right? The doctor told him that he had a really big heart. <laughs> like, most, hand, most hearts will fit in one hand. And his doctor is said it was a two-handed heart. So, we always knew he had a big heart. Now we know. Yes, we are busy, busy people. I wish one of you would get on here and do a live soon. I mean, I know people get tired of seeing my lives all the time. But I haven't crafted in seven days, ladies. And I'm, I'm having some major withdrawals. So, let's just get started. Um, I think what I want to do first is the Bone Appetit. I got my tea towel. Um, I got it lightly pressed right here. And this is a brand new transfer. I really like it. Um, and if I like the way that it looks when I get done, then I'm going to also do this on a plate. So another great thing about Chalk Couture, so many different surfaces that you can actually chalk it on. Yes, yes, yes. So did everybody have a good weekend? I mean, I'm <clears throat> more ready for spring than ever. You getting a new shop? Are you opening up a shop? That sounds exciting. Everybody's businesses are just taking off and doing so well. So, brand new transfer. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to cut this out. And work on just the sections that I want to work on. And this one's going to be a real simple one because I'm going to do it on a towel that I'm going to use for a display in my kitchen. So I just want the Bon Appetit and then I want some greenery on here. Uh, anybody that knows me knows that I'm not really a good cook. So that would not be surprising. So, first thing we do is we write on the back of our transfer what it is so that when, after we get done cleaning them, it makes it really easy. Yeah, I know. I didn't know you had a shop. See, I'm learning things. So, I'm just writing on the back, Bone Appetit. And then on this one, I'm just going to put BA Greenery. So, I know that it goes with that. Okay. 
So that way when I get done and ready, I know exactly which one to put it back on. So, uh, this is our transfer board that is used for when we're doing material. Um, a lot of people just use, oh, mill prepping. I wish I had the, I could probably do that for a week and then I would be over it. So I'm proud of you for that. You go girl. So a lot of people will just use cardboard for uh, material, but I will tell you one of the things that I really like about these boards that come with Chocolate Tour, um, it's gonna keep the ink from going through especially if you're doing like a t-shirt or something like that. Oh, that's really cool. Um, but this is sticky, just like the transfers. So what it does is it helps to keep your material in place while you're working on a project. March 3rd. That's gonna be here before we know it, girl. Okay, so I've got the towel here, and I'm just going to push it down onto my board. Again, remember, that's got sticky on it, so it helps to hold everything into place so you don't have to worry about it moving around, and then it's not going to bleed through, bleed to the back, okay? So we've got this down, and then that is just about ready. So the Bon Appetit. I'm gonna to put towards the bottom and I'll do the greenery. I'm gonna do it up here just a little bit. So we're gonna do this in ink. Nice thing about ink is I heat set it and then I can wash it till the cows come home, which is nice. Girl, I get it. You and your pageants. I mean, everyone always looks so pretty when they come out of there. I am impressed. Okay, so Bon Appetit, I'm thinking, what colors do I want to do? It's so hard for me not to use yellow on everything, but I just love it. I can't help it. Um, yes, it does have red on the edges, but you're not really going to see the red because the way that I'm going to fold this towel, it's not going to be a big deal. I think I'm just going to do Bon Appetit in black. Real simple. Real sophisticated, just like me, right? Ha, 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 ha. And then I'm going to come back with some silver. Bon Appetit. Okay. So, ink is much different than the paste. You don't need nearly as much, which that part of it's nice. So, brand new transfer here. So, what I'm doing is I'm going to fuzz it. So I'm just gonna put it down a couple times, that way it doesn't stick super, super hard, but it's still gonna give us. And I'm gonna see if I can get close enough so you guys can see the webbing that is in here. So this actually becomes more like a silk screen. So you're not actually, um, so that it gives you more detail than it would if you were just doing like a Cricut cutout, trying to do a stencil that way. So I put it where I want it. And then just make sure that it's all down nice and good. You do want to make sure that you have your um, Clorox wipes handy. Because uh, we want to keep our fingers nice and dry and clean while we're dealing with the inks. So, we've got that ready to roll. And then, I'm just going to dip into my black ink. And then, I am just going to start rubbing that right over the top. So my goal is to do three projects in less than 40 minutes. I think we can do it. I guess it just depends on how much I talk, right? And I've been cooped up in a hospital room all week, so I might talk a lot. You never know. I do have a water bath prepared. It's set behind me. And so when we get done doing the transfer, then it will go directly into the water bath and then I'll give it a good cleaning. And then guess what? I get to use this again. So the only thing about doing it on material versus doing it on a surface like I normally do on my lives is 
it's not as easy to take off if you do make a mistake. It's not quite as forgiving, I should say. So we just have to be really aware of that. Hello, Miss Sherry. So I do have a little bit on my fingers. So I am going to take my cleaning cloth and wipe my fingers off before I take this transfer off. So what happens when you do the material, you're gonna let it dry for about 45 minutes after you get it put on and then you're gonna heat set it. And you can heat set that with your heat press or with an iron, you just don't wanna use any steam. And you're gonna do that at like 350 degrees for four minutes. And then you can put this baby in the wash machine and wash it hundreds of times and you're gonna be good to go. So now I'm just removing the transfer. Well, look at that. Bon appetit. Simple, easy peasy. And then, I mean, what a nice gift, like a housewarming gift or anything like that, just perfect. And then I am going to, and again, I've got it on this backer board, which keeps my material from moving around, which is fantastic. So now I'm going to do the leaf. I'm gonna fuzz that first, remember. So if I would have made a mistake and I didn't like something on this transfer, I could use my Clorox wipe and try to clean it up. But just know it's not gonna be as easy to come out because it is ink. Not gonna be as easy to come out as it would on chalk paste on some other kind of design. So I'm actually gonna do the leaf kind of into the wording kind of into the wording, but not really, just really up to those letters. Because the nice thing about this is with the transfer, I can still see the bone appetite down and around. Okay, just a real nice, simple design. Now, with this transfer, you also get like a spoon and a fork and a knife, and then you get some nuts, or berries, whatever you want them to be, and some bigger greenery. But since I'm just doing the towel on this one, I wanted to make it real simple. So then I'm gonna come in with the silver for the leafing. Again, I just wanted, you know, a really nice understated towel that I can use on display. So now I'm gonna go in with the silver. And with that silk screening, because these leaves actually have detail in the middle, so you can see the veins in the leaves and the things like that, um, you don't get that from a normal, like a Cricut, trying to make a transfer from a, from a Cricut. Or a stencil is what you would call that. So one of the things that I really do like about Chalk Couture, it's pretty cool and simple. Like, so much little amount of prep goes into getting this set up to do these lives and to do a project. And then look how happy I am again, because I'm crafting and I'm not in a hospital. It's just the best. Okay, so now I'm ready to remove this transfer. Let me clean my fingers. Um, I do have a little bit of ink on my fingers and I do not want to get that onto another place of the towel. So I'm gonna clean my fingers real well. And then I will pull this transfer up. And then we will be done with one project tonight. So if you're enjoying the video, give me a thumbs up, give me a heart, whatever. Um, feel free to share your video onto your page or if you have another crafting page and you wanna share it, that would be awesome too. So look at that. Just a real simple little towel. And then what I'll do after it dries for about 45 minutes, um, I will put uh, parchment paper over the top of it he is home, Charity. We're happy about that. We just got home. He was um, in the hospital for six days. Um, so I'll put parchment paper over the top of it, uh, 350 degrees for four minutes, and then I will be able to wash it, anything else that I want to do. So remember, I've got it on my stick board, so I'm just going to peel it right off of that. That is really a pretty towel. So let's take a closer look at that. Isn't that pretty? I like it a lot. What do you guys think? Good stuff? So we'll let that baby dry and then I will heat set it later and then I will post pictures. See what you guys think. So one project down. 
wine to share. Mm. And moving on. So next, we're going to do a coffee mug. So those of you that know anything about my life and what I enjoy doing, I was really big into acrylic making tumblers. And then I began to get allergic to the tumbler. Or, I'm sorry, to the epoxy. Um, so I couldn't do those anymore. And one of the things that enticed me about Chalk Couture is their inks. So this is a $1 mug that I purchased from the Dollar Tree. <clears throat> Nothing special. It's a mug. It holds coffee. Coffee makes me happy. And we're all good, right? So um, with the $1 mug, I am able to find my transfer that I want to use. Where did they go? And we are going to put it right onto the mug. And then with ink, we're going to use ink. And then when that is done, we are going to um, put it in the oven. Put it in the oven, turn the oven on to 350 degrees, set the timer for 30 minutes. And so the, that's the preheat time and everything. We are going to uh, allow that to work, cook, bake, and then once I take it out and we let it sit for the night, then I can wash it in the dishwasher. I can wash it in the sink. I can wash it anywhere I want and it will be permanent. I don't have to seal it with anything because we're actually baking it. Okay, so this one's gonna be wild and free is the way to be. And I am going to put this right here on the side of this mug. And then I'm just gonna work it down and making sure that we're getting all, because it is a little curved, so we have to kind of be patient and work these little wrinkles out because we do want it nice and smooth so that where that webbing is, it's gonna give us a nice looking transfer. Wild and free is the way to be while I'm drinking my coffee. <laughs> Okay, so I have all that pressed out the way that I need it, the way that I want it. And then I am just going to take, what color do I want? I, this is silver and I think orange would be good on the gray cup. So I'm just gonna get my spatula and we're just gonna go right over this area. Again, this is just a really inexpensive mug. I bought this one from the Dollar Tree for a dollar, and I'm using my transfer. These transfers can be used multiple times as long as you take good care of them. So you can use this on a shirt, you can use this on a mug. Um, if you're gonna do something that you're going to um, be able to wash, you do wanna use the inks. That way you can heat set it and she is good to go. Okay, with inks, you don't have to use nearly as much as you do with the paste, they're much thinner. Um, so we just wanna make sure that we're getting everything into those webbed areas and then wiping off any excesses that we have. It's gonna be a fun little mug. So there's this whole adventure series um, and it's got like, oh yeah, and wonder, and it's all about, you know, being outdoorsy. So that would make a nice set for someone who does a lot of camping, um, someone who does a lot of sightseeing. That would be an awesome gift to give, you know, a wedding gift, an anniversary gift. And then all we're going to do is we're going to remove this transfer and you want to go from edge to edge and then pull it back. Isn't that the cutest? I'm glad that we did the orange. I love that. Okay. So into the water bath it goes. And then I did go down at the bottom because I wanted to make sure that I got it all covered. And then I'm just going to go back now with my um, rag and clean that up. Wild and free. Heck yes. Who doesn't want to be wild and free? 
Look at that. So I'm gonna let that dry. And then when we get done here tonight, I'm gonna put it into the oven, 350 degrees for 30 minutes. Voila, it will be done. I love it. So I, when this dries a little bit more, I'm gonna go in with my Q-tip, clean that up. Oh, I missed you guys. Did I tell you that? Like not crafting, that's just my outlet and not being able to do that whew, was stressful. Just stressful. Okay, now let's do a unicorn. When I was a kid, I loved unicorns. Anybody else like really just into unicorns? I mean, I loved them. Like, I remember taking a ceramics class and I did a unicorn and I wish I knew where it was because that was just so fun. Okay, brand new transfer. So we're gonna cut this baby out and find my scissors. I mean, am I the only one in the world that loses their scissors? I feel like I am. I mean, it doesn't matter if I'm wrapping gifts. You know, Charity, I did not. I um, took my crochet bag, never once got into it. I was just a nervous, nervous ninny the whole time. Uh, but unicorns are just fun and magical. And I haven't done this transfer yet. I don't even know if I've seen this transfer completed yet. But it says, be a unicorn in a field of horses. <laughs> right? I know. We are just crazy like that, aren't we? Okay. So, I just have to figure out how I want it all laid out. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Because then I can go in with a tail and do that. Yes. Yay. All right. So, let me get my colors together. I definitely know I want some pink in here. And I want some mm -hmm, peacock in here. And probably some coral. And some baby blue. Yes, yes. No. Mm -mm. I don't know. It's so hard picking colors. That's the hardest part for me. Okay, brand new transfer. Oh my gosh, are we on project number three already? We're like 20 minutes in. I'm telling you, that's how awesome Chalk Couture is. Like, figuring out how to lay it out is the hardest part. So, brand new transfer. I am actually um, fuzzing it on my pants leg. We got new fuzzing cloths. They're not available yet. I can't wait, because um, they're gonna be amazing. And they're gonna help us clean our boards too, which is gonna be great. Okay, so I'm fuzzing that about three times on my pants. So be a unicorn in a field of horses. I mean, who wants to be like everybody else? I know, I don't. Mm, I feel like that's not straight. Bear with me. The other nice thing about Chalk Couture is you can pick it up and move it anytime you want. Now, we are going to be doing chalk on this. Nice thing about chalk, if I do something and I don't like it, I can always go back and take it off. That part's awesome, right? So, ta -da -da. all right. We are definitely going to be having some fun with this. Some peacock and some pink. I mean, I think that goes together. Hey, if I haven't told you guys yet, I sure did miss chalking and crafting and doing lives with you guys so much. Okay, so I think what we're going to do here is I haven't ombre in a while. So we're gonna try to do a little ombre here, see what happens. Putting the excess back into the jar, because that is something we can definitely come back and use again later, which is what I love. It lasts forever. I mean, it really does. Like, some of these colors I've been using since October, and I'm not even hardly touching the surface to what's in the jar. And then I'm gonna come back with pink, because pink is such a girl color. Yes, I'm loving it. So we're gonna ombre this puppy and see what we think. Now, 
because this does have some of the peacock in it, I am not wiping that back into my jar because I don't want to contaminate my color. So we must keep them separated. I still am in shock we're on our third project already. So then I'm just gonna take my spatula and we're gonna take that and we're just gonna blend, blend, blend. And that's gonna give us that ombre look. So we just wanna make sure that we're covering all of this webbed area. And this is gonna give us that nice blend of the peacock and the pink and still make a nice statement of be a unicorn in a field of horses. Okay, so then I'm gonna wipe off this excess onto my Clorox wipe. Make sure my fingers are clean. The cleaner you stay during this process, the less cleanup you have to do later. So with Chalk Couture, the thing that's so great about that is you can always go back and clean up at any time when you're doing chalk and you haven't made it permanent. So I have some boards that I use and I change them out with the seasons instead of having to buy new boards all the time, which is pretty cost effective. Now, most people would think you would go from here to here to remove it, but we don't wanna stretch out the transfer. So we go from corner to corner and then bring it back. Be a unicorn. The reveal is my favorite. In a field of horses. Don't we love that? Look at that. Yes, yes, yes. And then we just take it and we put it in our water bath. So what I'll do when we get off of here is I will run this under my water and I will clean those and then I'll be able to reuse them. You know what I forgot to do? I did not write be a unicorn on the back of here. So I'm really bad about that and I'm trying to get better. So eventually, so that way, when I'm done and my transfer is clean, I know exactly which transfer goes on to that backer. Okay, so now I'm gonna cut these out. So I've got some little stars that I can put all over the place. Unicorns are just so fun and magical. I like them. Okay, so to do the unicorn, I'm thinking, I'm gonna do the light blue and the periwinkle. I think we're gonna stay with that and maybe a little pink. I don't know. I just don't know. We'll make it work. And what do I always say? If we don't like it, no big deal. We'll wipe it off and we'll start again. So again, brand new transfer. Put it on pants. We're gonna fuzz that up a little bit. So if those of you are new to the site or new to watching me live, we have a brand new catalog that just came out a week and a half ago for spring, summer. So many new transfers. I haven't been able to order any yet because, well, you know, I've been in the hospital with the hubs. And what's the point of ordering stuff if I can't do it right away, right? So that's where I'm at. I probably should have done this one first, but I didn't. I'm going to cattywampus this a little because you know I like cattywampus, okay? And then I'm not gonna let that touch over there because I know that's not quite dry. Okay, and then on the back of this, I'm going to write unicorn bold. Okay. And this one, we're gonna do, this one is actually called Ocean Mist. Such a pretty, pretty color. So we're gonna do this one first. Um, so yeah, if you haven't had a chance to check out the catalog yet, um, my, my uh, debit card was compromised, embarrassed to say, but true, not my fault. Somebody was buying all kinds of stuff on, uh, with my PayPal account. So my debit card has been turned off. Um, but if you want to go check out my site, it should be up tomorrow. It's chalkcouture.com forward slash setting sun. But I can also send you a PDF of the catalog if you can't wait until then. That way you can take a look and see what, see what it's all about. Okay. So getting all the excess off of here. Beautiful. 
perfection. I think I may do it in the pink. I don't know. I haven't decided yet. We'll see. The outlining in the pink. We'll see. We'll see. That's the fun part about crafting, right? You don't have to make a decision right away. And then with Chalk Couture, if you make a decision and you don't like it, no bigs. Okay. So it's supposed to look like that because we're going to come back and we're going to do some more detail with the other transfer. And I am just hoping that my blow dryer is handy so I can blow dry this. If not, we're going to spend a little extra time here. Oh, dogs is barking. Somebody must be walking around outside. So anybody got any craft fairs coming up or anything exciting going on? I'm just trying to air dry this because I'm not sure where my blow dryer went off to. Oh, I think I just found it. That makes me happy. When in doubt, look where it belongs. Sometimes that's where it will actually be. Bear with me, it's gonna be loud for a second. Whenever you're blow drying, you don't wanna put it on high heat. You just kinda of wanna give it enough to roll it around and to help it dry. If it's not completely dry, what'll happen when you put the new transfer down is it will actually pick up whatever is still wet and bring it with a new transfer. We're almost there, guys. Four. If you're not impatient, you can just let it air dry and then go back and do it. But a little air, or a little blow dryer, and that speeds up the process just a tiny tad. Okay. So now I want to do the mane and the tail in a different color, which I'm going to use that light pink on. Yeah, we are. And then we're going to do the outline in the periwinkle. So, um, again, I, since this is a new transfer, I'm fuzzing it on my pants. Sorry, there's so much of a glare there, guys. Gonna push that down, make sure that's all sealed. So when you're lining that up, you can actually see where it belongs. And we're gonna do the mane and the tail in a light pink color. You're gonna love it. So it's still just $99 to sign up to be a consultant. And you get like 200, almost $240 worth of stuff. Like who doesn't like stuff? That's why I signed up um, because I could do that and then I could always get my stuff at 40% off. So that part's pretty awesome. Um, but as I just told you, shared with you, my husband had some major surgery and now I can use it to help supplement our income while he is healing and getting better and stronger. So, don't have to do it as a business. There's also this thing that's amazing that's called Club Couture, and it is $19.99 a month. It's a three-month commitment. After three months, you can cancel if you want to, but it's a subscription. So, it's kind of like, you know, FabFitFun, BarkBox, um, Ep Epsi. Those are some of the ones that I belong to. So, it's basically a subscription box. You get a transfer every month. I get a the same transfer every month. And then what we're going to do is on the 15th, we're going to do a live together. Won't that be fun? Uh, but you also get like a PDF and you get a video showing you how to do the transfer. So, super exciting. You get three pace with that. 
lots of options um, to purchase boards and things like that as well, but you don't have to. But so for the $19.99, you get the transfer and you get the three pays to go with it. So yeah, that's a great way to do it, especially if you don't want to be a designer because the transfer you can use over and over again. So the January transfer was the, oh snap, and collect moments, not things. So this is the one uh, for the people that were signed up, were able to get it in January. If you sign up for February, um, you can actually go back and purchase this one. And then, um, per, you know, you don't know what the next one's gonna be. We don't know, that's the fun part. And so then we all just get it and we do it together. Okay, so let's tear off the mane and the tail. Oh, this is gonna be super cute. So see how nice this all lines up? And how more cute, how more cute? I don't even know if that's correct. How cute, how much more cute it looks with the different color for the tail and the mane. Are we liking it so far, ladies and gentlemen? Yeah. I don't know why we've got such that glare on here. I apologize for that. I'm trying to fix it. I don't know. Oh, because I have those sheets up there and it's reflecting. Okay, so one more hit with a dryer. Bear with me, I'll be right back. So I want you guys to look at the new catalog and let me know if there's anything on there that you wanna see me do because I'm always up for trying new things. There's a couple that I wanna to put together and try them together, like not the way they came from the company. I think that would be fun too. Almost dry. Beautiful. This would be a great gift too. Graduation, you know, like a junior high graduation. I mean, I can't think of a girl that wouldn't like it. A nice little thing to put in their room to let them know, be you. Don't be like everybody else. How boring would the world be if we were all like each other? So again, I'm fuzzing and I'm getting ready to put this final right over the top and this is going to be more of our outline on our unicorn so we're just going to spend a little time to make sure we're getting everything lined up appropriately and when you do cattywampus like i like to do it takes a little bit longer than normal beautiful Beautiful. Beautiful. Now, you don't have to do this part if you just liked it more of the way that it was. And if we don't like it when it's done, you're right. Wipe it off and start all over. No bigs. So I'm using the peacock here. Yes, it would be. We should do that sometime. We can always go back and do that here in a bit. But yes, the ombre unicorn would be very pretty. So I'm gonna do the outline now. So again, we want to make sure that we're hitting all of that webbed area. And this is actually going to give us more detail on our unicorn. And I don't know why I say unicorn like that. I know it's unicorn. I'm calling it a unicorn. Maybe I'm a little delirious. Hard to say. So seriously, when are uh, Christine, you, and, or Charity gonna do a live on here? Like, it needs to happen. I'm just saying, get out of your comfort zone. Let's make it happen. Okay. Unicorn is almost ready. Are you as excited as I am? Okay, 
excess back in the jar. If you like this today, please share it. Also, if you haven't subscribed to my YouTube channel, it's Setting Suns Design. And what are you hate hearing, Christine? I missed it. I hate hearing myself. Well, then just don't listen. Because, like, I can't hear myself right now, so it's all good. Yeah, it's all good. So, um, YouTube, Setting Suns Design. And what I do, oh, this is not lined up at all. But I think I might like it still. We'll see. Bad job, Ka. It's different. I have to line it up better. So I'm totally going to do that here in a hot minute. I won't make you all sit around and wait for that. But do you see where I messed up on the lining up of the unicorn? No big deal. No big deal. I may have to try the ombre next, Christine, whenever I finish it. So all I'm doing now is I'm taking my Clorox wipe and I'm saying, see you later, baby. One of, this is my favorite. This is definitely, I mean, I love the fact that you can reuse the transfers, but this is definitely um, one of my big reasons for loving and using Chalk Couture. If you mess up, no big deal. You wipe it off, you start all over. I mean, if all crafts could be this stress-free, just think what a wonderful world it would be. I mean, I'm pretty sure there's a song about that. <laughs> this is like a magic eraser, but it's a chalkboard eraser. And you just use it and you go over and it's going to help to pull up any of that, um, that ghosting that's left from the chalk paste. Which is super, super awesome. So all that's happening right now is we're removing this paste. And then I have a rag down here somewhere. I'm just going to go over it. Get some of that moisture off of my board. And then I'll go back over it with the eraser again. But that is truly how easy it is if you mess up, if you don't like something, how you start all over again. You can also use these to clean your transfers. Um, I don't care if the pigments stain my transfers, but there's some people that that really bothers. Doesn't bother me one iota. I don't have that kind of OCD in my life, but I know many people do. So that's why they recommend using these erasers to clean up the transfers so you don't have that staining. So it's just like that unicorn never happened. So what I'm gonna do after I say goodbye, we are going to, um, I'm gonna go back and redo that and then I will put pictures of the final in there. So what do you guys think? Did you have fun tonight? Did you learn some things? Did you see some fun things going on? I hope so. So we used both ink. Um, we used ink on our wild and free is the way to be. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna come back in here with my Q-tip and then I'll clean this area up a little bit where the the had a little bit of bleed in it. Then I'm gonna bake this in the oven 30 minutes from preheat all the way to the end, let it cool, take it out, then I can dishwasher it and I can hand wash it. So no special need, nothing special needed here. Cute, cute, cute. Um, and then we also did a towel. This is Bon Appetit. This is done in ink. Um, I will heat set it at 350 for four minutes. Make sure I'm covering all the areas. It will actually um, put the ink into the material so I won't actually fill it. And then we're able to throw this in the washing machine, throw it in the dryer, and we are good to go. So yeah, that mug is super cute. You can buy um, 12. It's 12 of these this size. So you could do like a whole set. I mean, there's so many cute on that adventure. Um, so lots of different things that you can do there. This is just a couple of them that I cut out. Um, and a dollar for the mug. And what an awesome gift to give. Throw it, in the, throw it in the oven. You don't have to give any special instructions. They can dishwasher it. They can hand wash it. They can do whatever. If they break it, no harm, no foul, right? It costs a dollar and 15 minutes of your life. So there you have it. We did three projects tonight. We did a towel, we did a mug, and we did a sign. 
in, are you kidding me, less than 45 minutes. And there was some jibber jabber and some drinking of wine in between. So, um, lots and lots of fun. Go check out my YouTube page, Setting Sun's Design. Please subscribe if you haven't already. Um, follow along to any of the videos. I will be doing a, a speeded up version of this live tonight. Feel free to share it with your friends. And um, thanks for joining. And we'll do this again soon. Like, I'm not waiting a whole week again because... I missed you guys. You were my therapy. <laughs> I'm not even kidding when I say that. So I'm going to come back in, do the unicorn again. I'm going to say goodbye to you from Bon Appetit. And wild and free is the way to be. So thank you. Thank you all for joining tonight. You make my heart happy. Share this live if you enjoyed it. And let your friends know where to find us. And I will get it posted here before long. I'm probably going to pour me another glass of wine before I get started on that one again. Um, but it will get done tonight. So, thank you everyone for joining. Have a good night. Share away. Like and subscribe to my YouTube page. And we will get together again real soon. Bye.